In an earlier video on Gear at First, you saw the review on the Presonus Air Series, featuring the Air 15-inch speaker and the 18-inch powered subwoofer. But what Presonus is really known for are their mixers. They're a perfect combination of affordability, ingenuity, and ruggability. Is that a word? Here on Gear at First, we're going to talk about the Studio Live AR12 USB. In short, this is a sound guy's dream come true. So whether you're a nightclub owner, a musician, or even a DJ, you're gonna love the features the Studio Life AR12 USB has. Let's take a look here at Gear It First. Let's be honest here. When you first look at the mixer, it looks like any traditional mixer. You have your nine individual faders. You have your 48 volt phantom power. You have your solo master, your control room, your zones. You've got your headphone. You also have some really great digital effects built in. But where the mixer really shines is the forward thinking system and layout that they integrated. So what Presonus did is you have your, along with your RCAs, you have an aux, an eighth inch port. You have your SD card and that's send and receive. So you can record or play back stuff from your SD card. You have your USB to use with the software. And you also have Bluetooth 4.1 so you can connect your phone or any Bluetooth device. Now what they did is with the Bluetooth and your SD card and your RCA and all that, that's all on one fader. They call this the super fader. The Presonus has a beautiful 24 bit, 96 kilohertz sound card. And that just basically means you're gonna get some great audio out of it, which is really important because especially with nine microphones, plus the capability of playing or recording to an SD card or USB or playing music back from your phone, you wanna make sure that absolutely nothing is sacrificed when you're recording that final mix. This is fantastic, especially from old DJs if you're recording the ceremonies and you wanna play back later for the toast. You know, a lot of times, and I've seen this at a lot of the big DJ conventions out there, you know, they record some of the stuff for the toast or the ceremony, and then during the last dance when they do what's called a circle of love, the DJ will take bits and excerpts and sound clips and just create a beautiful last dance for the couple. But I can tell you right now, as a DJ myself, it's almost impossible to edit this stuff on the fly while we're trying to do our job. So if you mix it right the first time and you record it, it's really not gonna be that big of an issue to be able to just quickly slap it in and mix it out on the fly. And I can just grab my SD card, pop it in my MacBook, drop it into my DJ software, mix it in with a song, bam, done on the fly. If you're recording a set, let's say you're a musician and you wanna record your jam session, you can absolutely do it. Even if you don't have your instruments with you and maybe your vocalist just wants to practice some singing, they can just set this up in their living room. They can set it up via Bluetooth or USB or the SD card or the iPhone, all these different options, and they can record. For karaoke, this is fantastic too. But keep in mind that recording music on karaoke, there's a whole thing of legal stipulations, which I'm not gonna go into. That's not what this video is about. But the point being is that this mixer does give you a lot of great options. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up a little bit here and you can see how nice the microphone sounds. And there's a little bit of a reverb or echo and that's simply because of the effect. I can bring the effect down and I can bring it back up. And actually for this demo, I'm gonna unplug the microphone real quick. Okay, so you're gonna hear a lot of ambient noise now. But basically, we have a whole bunch of different effects here, and I'll just show you a couple of them. You've got your studio, you've got chamber, wow. And on the chamber, I can bring it down as a master, or I can bring it down on the actual control itself. But notice that when I bring it down to the master, it cuts it out completely. When I bring it down per channel, that effect fades out, so it doesn't sound so choppy. And again, this is very traditional. This is very traditional for most mixers. But at this price point, it's really nice to see this effect as easy to select. I just go here, enter, and it's done. So the effects are great, and everything that you mix in pretty much goes right into your SD card reader. So I can just go right here, start recording, and your vocalist can just come right up, grab the effect that they want. So let's say I'm just gonna do my 
bright room, check, 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 check. They could just literally pick up the microphone and just do some old school beatboxing. Boom, boom, boom. switching between a couple different effects, right? So then I just stop recording here and it stops right there, easy. Then I can just go into my play function, start recording and your vocalist can just come right up, grab the effect that they want. So let's say I'm just gonna do my bright room, check, 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 check. They can just literally pick up the microphone and just do some old school beatboxing. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so pretty much while you have the SD card playing, you could also have your microphones going in there. Now you can't record onto the SD card while the SD card is going. So what happens if you just have somebody singing and there are no actual instruments to hook it up? Well, in that case, you just pair it up to your phone, right? So I'm just gonna just play some music. Actually, I have Afro Jack's uh, Pop On Acid. So and you bring it up and down just like the SD card. And if you need to record this on the SD card for a reason, so that pretty much uh, we got that recorded in there right and check it out now But now let's look at the USB function of the mixer so you can see what it does a little bit. So one of the cool things about the Studio Live AR12 USB is the absolutely insanely awesome software that comes with it, and that's called the Studio One. Now, I had a graduation where we were recording with the software. It's basically, an, it's a multi-track digital audio workstation. And what's really great about the software is that it does record each track separately, meaning each channel coming in, even your USB, even the computer, right? You can do a loopback recording. It records everything as individual tracks. The SD card just records as one track. I had a graduation and just a, a quick real life story about this thing. In halfway through uh, starting the graduation, it started pouring. I mean, it poured hard and water was just falling in and dripping all over the board. And this board was soaking wet. And I was worried by the time we brought it in that this board was gone, but it survived. What did not survive was the SD card. Um, while it was recording, it got corrupted. And the videographer is like, I, I need some sort of audio source. I'm like, dude. Uh, so I sent him this file and it was cool because even though the parts of the music were louder than he wanted it to be because everything was recorded individually, he was able to take down the music, you know, and bring up the microphones and he made the recording perfect, how, exactly how he wanted it to be. And one of the reasons that I personally went ahead and upgraded to the Studio One Pro is not because I need some of the pro features, you know, I'm not a recording engineer by any means, but look at this, this is the iPad remote that comes with it. So this iPad remote is not for live mixing, it's for recording. But if you wanted some sort of live mixing, then you would want to upgrade to some of the higher end studio live models. But even then this allows me to see a little bit of what's going on from the recording perspective. The fact that I can, you know, go into my inputs and see everything live. You have your outputs, we've got our insert sends, your Q mix and everything is instantaneous, right? Right down to our automation buttons, your console view, transport. Let's go back over here for a second. Uh, you can record and you can see everything that's on there. But the main reason that I like this software and why I would use it even if I'm not recording necessarily is because I like the fact that if I have multiple microphones, I'm not worried about, okay, looking at which one's channel one, which one's channel two. And a lot of us just write things on with electric or masking tape. But check this out. I can just take channel three mic and I can just call it AO mic, which is my mic. 
and then I can change the recording to or the color to let's say I have that mic with a you know small piece of orange electric tape to mark the mic there it is there and then when I record that orange or that track is gonna show in orange so that's that's pretty dope and they've thought about this so well about making something that's intuitive user-friendly they have tutorials on YouTube you definitely want to watch them this software has a lot of options especially when you couple it with the plugins and with the iPad remote it's absolutely incredible one of my favorite things is just being able to now record everything live in there and drop individual things that I need uh, and the fact that it does have that loopback recording so in the sense of the graduation it recorded the music that I was playing from the computer which was going out to channel 13 um, but let's say for example you know even my Bluetooth you know I'm gonna play uh, one of my friends Elysio uh, he's a producer he has a song called eyes of love so I'm just gonna play that real quick. super easy you don't have to use the studio one software I do like the iPad uh, functions on it but you can if you wanted to you know I could use the screen cap software on, the, on QuickTime on my Mac and if I record on it it would actually record all eight tracks at the same time or I could use Adobe Audition or Audacity and it would pick up each individual track that's the studio life AR 12 USB from Presonus. It is an incredible mixer with so many different features and I've just touched the tip of the iceberg, but I really wanted to go over the integration of traditional analog mixer, SD card player, Bluetooth player, USB function and control, all this from one super portable and super affordable mixer that gives you a lot of features and a lot of bang for the buck. That's the Presonus Studio Live AR12 USB. My name's Arnaldo Offerman with Gear It First. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the mixer. If you already have one, tell me your review down in the comment section below. Now you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and most importantly, smack that bell for notifications. My name's Arnaldo Offerman of Gear It First. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great evening. God bless. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear it first, honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.